Good morning beautiful people, it's Moana and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm showing you my morning routine so you're going to spend half a day with me as I wake up and do the house chores and uh, make prepare breakfast yes. So please without further ado show me some love guys show me some love if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do subscribe and hit the notification button so that you'll be notified every time i upload something so as you've seen i wake up open the windows and then go do business in the bathroom so after i'm, I'm done with doing whatever i'm doing that i can not show you on the camera I wash my hands before I touch my face if you want to see my skincare routine a very simple one the, the link of the video will be up on the screen so after washing my face as I showed you in the previous video I turn my face girl has to put the oil where it's supposed to be so this is what I do every morning, wash my face and take a shower. Yeah, so I'm showing you my back as I take a shower. I use my usual soap, the Kojic Sun soap and it's a face towel. It's a face towel but it is, I like to use it on my body. Yes. I cleans my body very well I know you guys want to be like show us the front nah the front is not going to be there no 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 so after taking a shower I dry my body up and then I moisturize off the camera so after the shower before I take breakfast or do anything else I clean the dishes I do wash the utensils this is my kitchen you guys you're welcome so I do the, the utensils I clean up the kitchen and I don't want to work in a dirty environment so first things were from the previous yesterday this is like previous <laughs> not previous previous of how many days backwards no like yesterday so after cleaning up the utensils and cleaning up the kitchen i prepare breakfast so it is locked down if you have some kamani you buy food in plenty so you never know if tomorrow there is money if you're going to get money to buy food or whatever anyway you have to buy whatever you buy in plenty and keep for tomorrow so this is how i peel irish and i'm going to put in the description section the recipe for my breakfast that's it guys so when I'm done with peeling, I wash my Irish very, very well. Remove all the dirt. I wash it twice to remove most of the starch. And then after washing, I cut my Irish. Oh, that was really bad. I had to cut, off, cut it out. So I use, I cut the irish into cubes because of the way i'm going to prepare it be careful guys not to cut those beautiful fingers when you using a sharp knife
so after done cutting the irish into cubes i wash it again to remove excess starch please don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you so much and hit the notification button so that you'll be notified every time i upload something so after washing it again i put it in the pan and i boil put it on the gas and i boil it for some few minutes i don't want it to boil it to the extent of it getting ready or it being too soft so i boil it for like less than 10 minutes yeah that's in a big pan my hubs so if you follow me on instagram you know i like to cleanse my body through hubs so in that big pan i had in some hubs that i prepared two days back i have been warming them up and taking them while warm so when you drink those herbs you pee a lot and then your body is cleansed in that way so for my irish i put water and salt only and then boil them for like five to eight minutes two minutes while you just let them get ready but not, not too soft because we are going to fry them dip them in oil and then they get crunchy and then tasty and then yummy and then so tasty anyway let me not get after those minutes I check if it is where I want it to be like it is not too soft and not too unready so it is between ready and getting too soft yeah So I get my sieve and then pour all of my Irish into it. This is a form or a way of removing water from Irish. If you have paper towels, you can use paper towels after here why i use this because i don't want to deep fry them when they are soaked in water when they still have water in so i use this sieve to remove excess water all the water literally not even excess yeah by the time i fry them they'll be dry so you know water and oil they don't connect very well So I did fly them. Oh, yeah. And you know, frying doesn't take so long. So since they are ready, you just need them to get crunchy, a bit crunchy, and then. Like I said, I'm going to leave in the description section there is recipe for of on how to prepare this thing you know, I, do, I don't think i will need it but i will put it in the description section So the way I'm going to prepare Irish, we need garlic. 
I love lots of garlic. They give me that flavor, the very nice flavor. So in the flying pan, I add two spoons of oil and then add garlic. I have used the whole clove. Is this called the whole clove or what? So as garlic is getting ready, we don't want it to be burnt. I add ketchup all tomato sauce or anything you can use if you have barbecue sauce if you have ketchup if you have tomato sauce you can use that so i use that and for my case i use tomato sauce and barbecue sauce both of them and then after frying them and then the sauce getting thick i add our irish yeah i add the irish and then I soak it all in the sauce and the scent, the aroma of garlic. Oh my god. You guys, you need to prepare this type of meal for yourselves. It is locked down and I want to eat very well. I want to eat like good food that I have prepared for myself. And it's time for serving yeah the best part of it all and by by the time food was ready you guys are so hungry and the guacamole oh my god so the way i prepared this guacamole was i got one avocado and i cut some onions and i added black pepper and i put a little vinegar and it was just so yummy so yummy you should try it out like prepare some like that anyway guys this brings us to the end of the video yes thanks for watching